Supporters of the embattled KCC Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago took to the streets to protest their leader's dismissal. Immediately they got word of the developments at City Hall. The protests that rocked parts of the city were quelled by the police, along with a group of stick-wielding men, commonly known as Chiboko Squad. The police disassociated themselves from the group, which they referred to as civilian crime preventers. The emergence of the Chiboko squad in 2009 caused an uproar among the public, forcing authorities to crack down on the group. We were told that these people actually were acting in the interest of the market to make sure that the merchandise of the market is protected and they are not under police. But the group resurfaced at Kasubi Market yesterday, whipping rioters and passers-by that they came across in the fracas. The situation was today normal at the riot-prone areas. Although business is back to normal here in the market, the stick-wielding men or the Chiboko squad who are busy beating up people yesterday during fracas are said to be still within, but the locals say they do not know any of them. However, others we spoke to say these men belong to what they call a reserve force within the area. We headed to the market leader's office to find out the origin of the notorious group. Our search for the answers then led us to the office of the resident city commissioner of Lubaga Division, Zaina Namwongi, who some locals accused of forming the group. If it was police, it was mine. If it was not police, I don't know them. Now we saw that police watched as uh, the Chiboko squad just beat up our people. I think that is. That is really, really sad. The president of the Uganda Law Society has also weighed in with a vow of making policemen who manhandled Lukwago's lawyers face justice. For them to be individually liable, we will take that up. Both uh, from a criminal perspective and a civil perspective, they have to pay damages. The Chiboko squad was declared illegal by the courts of law a few years ago after the public protested their high-handed acts of lashing protesters on the streets. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.